Hello and welcome to the third episode of this beginner's guide to Premiere Pro. So in this episode we are going to be looking at keyframes and special effects. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to add some basic special effects in. So we're going to be starting off with the black and white special effect. So we first need to find where we want to apply this effect. Now we need one particular clip that we're going to add this effect to. So I have my main um, track here of video track 1 and I've got my entire um, recording of Hero Binds Mansion on it. Now let's say if I wanted the period of 30 seconds to 45 seconds to be black and white I need to make a separate clip there so Premiere Pro uh, knows where to make it black and white. So I can do this by either pressing C on my keyboard or clicking on the razor tool and select and where it says 30 seconds let's just line it up there and I'm going to hit the razor tool and at 45 seconds I'm going to do the same thing and just hit the razor tool there. Okay so now that we've have separated our clips um, they are completely isolated from the effects that will get applied to this particular clip we've got here now. So what I would like to do is to show you how to use some effects is to start off by using one of the most simplest ones that I can think of which is the black and white effect. So to apply the effect we need to go into our media panel and then head over to our effects tab. So in the effects tab we can see that there is video effects. We need to click on the drop down menu um, arrow on the video effects uh, folder and do the same thing for the image control folder. Now you'll see that there's a black and white effect here and a couple of others as well. You can have a play around those yourself and uh, have, a, have a mess around with them but in this video we're just going to be using the black and white effect so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop that onto our video which will apply the effect. So you'll notice that um, on the uh, effect controls tab um, it says uh, it's got a new thing called black and white which is the new effect we've just added if you don't automatically appear on this panel and you're still in the source panel don't worry all you have to do is just click on effect controls uh, make sure you've got the selection tool selected and click on the clip you want to edit which is the one with the um, black and white effect and you'll be where I am now so uh, the black and white uh, effect has a couple of settings for it so we can either have an ellipse mask uh, a four point polygon mask or we can have free draw so uh, if we want to preview our black and white effect we can see that the whole clip is now black and white but uh, there's a couple of things we can do with this so if we click on create ellipse mask uh, this will actually create a circle and everything inside that circle will be black and white so a mask is basically uh, an area where you can adjust some settings so everything inside the area will be affected by those settings and then everything outside the area will remain the same. Uh, this is quite useful uh, so say if we had a still shot with, on a tripod with the camera and there was a mirror on the wall and we can make it look a little bit like a uh, one of those nice big uh, oval shaped mirrors and you could have a black and white effect of the person standing in the mirror for example which is quite cool you can do that uh, also we can use our four point polygon mask which is like a square type thing you can use so say if we wanted this sign to be black and white we can uh, adjust that as well so we can drag all these points to where we want them to be and there we go we've got the sign is now uh, black and white as you can see uh, unfortunately though if we scrub along we can see that uh, the shot will still need to be still to maintain its position. It gets a lot more complicated if you want uh, the black and white to follow along and I don't believe that Premiere Pro supports uh, that at the moment. So you need to use an external program such as After Effects to do something like that. So uh, if we go through a couple of the settings on the uh, mask configuration uh, we have the mask feather so I'm going to be editing the uh, oval shaped black and white uh, patch at the moment so the mask feather if we increase this uh, you can see that it kind of uh, fades out a little bit on the edges so this is used for kind of like uh, blending in with the background a bit more 
uh, mass capacity so if we turn this down uh, it's it's uh, how sort of see-through it is and finally the mask expansion so we can manually increase the size of the mask if we want to as well and the same effects pretty much apply to any shape you create the black and white effect now uh, for it's not this isn't the same process for every effect this is just some of the tools you could be using on some of the effects uh, but we'll get more into some of those later in the tutorials um, so I'm now going to show you how to use keyframes which is a key part uh, to Premiere Pro so we don't need the black and white effect uh, at this current point in time um, so I'm just going to get rid of it so if we just click on the black and white effect up there and hit the delete key it disappears so to give you a demonstration of keyframes and give you basic concept idea of it um, we're going to be using the opacity uh, but we're not going to do it on the actual video clip because that would make it go black to uh, so, sort of see uh, to visible and we don't really want that we want something on top of the video that we can do that so I'm going to be using the title that we made in the previous video so like we did before I'm just going to drop it in the point that we want it to uh, start and then we can use these little handles to drag it out and as you can see if we scrub through the little area we've got here uh, it stays on for the duration of that uh, little clip so what I want to do is I want it to be completely um, not you can't see it all at the start of the clip and at the middle of the clip you can see it completely and at the end of the clip you can't see it at all again so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a keyframe on the opacity setting so if we um, make sure that you've got your uh, title selected so if we make sure you've got the selection tool click on your title and make sure the infect control tab and it should bring up this little menu here so if we click the drop down uh, arrow for opacity we also have those tools that we've seen for the black and white effect so they work much the same so you can control the opacity on particular points in your video which is also quite cool but we're not interested in that we're interested in the keyframe uh, area here so um, we have a picture of a stopwatch and a little diamond over here now that indicates that this is a keyframe area so anytime you see that uh, you can use keyframes so uh, what keyframes enable us to do is the computer works out all the hard stuff for us so like I said I want it to appear um, blank at the start uh, middle is perfectly visible and then black at the end now normally for every single frame we'd have to enter in uh, how visible we wanted it to be so we could have it like 10% 25% but the computer does that for us we can do that by using keyframes so if I take my opacity down to zero so we, uh, we can click and hold and then drag the left and that could take it down to zero so at the very start you can see that it's made this little um, sort of diamond shape now that indicates that the keyframe has been placed there so we're going to make another one in the middle as well and make that 100% because we want it to be perfectly visible in the middle we want to go from 0% to 100% and then at the end we want to go back to 0% we're going to do 0% as well so we can either click and drag or we can enter the value in manually so we can do that by double clicking on the percentage and then changing the value to whatever we want so we can have it at 0% again so we can't see it so now if we scrub through our text uh, you can see that it sort of fades in and we get to the middle of the video it's perfectly visible then we fade out again as we get towards the end of the video so that was a basic tutorial on keyframes and how to use uh, one of the special effects that you can use in Premiere Pro uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you didn't get anything or you want uh, a video on something specifically uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to incorporate into our next video.